Good morning, dear friend. How are you and your family and friends? I'm Elder Prosper Do from Healing Christian Center in United Kingdom. Let us reflect and pray. Isaiah 54 verses 2 to 3. Spiritual growth. Abba Father, help us not to be content with our spiritual situation, but to ever desire to grow deeper and wider in our relationship with you and in the outworking of that relationship in our lives. Give us a great yield of souls, O oh God, as we continue to both to pray and to be witnesses for you. And as a church, help us to spread out in our outreach ministry and influence our society. Holy Spirit, help us to be prepared to leave our comfort zones and to be willing to step out of the boat in faith so that we can see you doing greater things through each of us. Amen. Today's message is captioned, Speak Positively, One. I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. When you can't choose or control your circumstances, you can still decide how you respond to them. Paul was in prison when he wrote, Rejoice in the Lord always. We are addressing those who have a perpetually pessimistic outlook on life and talk negatively most of the time. This is serious stuff. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. That means you can talk yourself to death or talk yourself to life. This is a scriptural truth. The trouble is we don't always recognize when we are engaging in negative self-talk because it's habit forming. We unconsciously develop a compromised view of ourselves when we constantly think and say things like, I'm such a loser, or this is too hard. Why even try? We settle for defeat when with a few minor attitude adjustments, we could open the door to amazing possibilities. The worst part of negative self-talk is that we don't just limit ourselves, we limit God. Psalm 78, verse 41. As his redeemed child, there resides within you the power to think better, talk better, and do better. Does the Bible say that you ask? Yes. Paul says, to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, be glory forever. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 to 21. It's time to draw a line in the sun and declare whatever God says about me, I will say too. And here is a great verse to get you started. I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Amen. Thank you, dear friend, for listening to this message. And God bless you and have a wonderful day even as you shared with others on your contact list.